Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you 5 epic text animations inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. And these effects are very easy to do. So let's see a quick preview of these animations. So our first animation is the glitch. Let's see how to do this animation. First, select the type tool and type your text to the program window. Open the essential graphics tab to customize this text. Under the essential graphics tab, click on edit. Mark all the text. And here I'm using Sonic XBD font. Then make it center by using this align tool. Now close the essential graphics tab. Then move over to the Effects tab and search for Block Dissolve. Apply this effect to the text layer. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. Under the Block Dissolve effect, set the Block Width 100 and set the Block Height 100. Increase the Transition Completion 100% and make a keyframe on it. Now move 10 frames to the right. Then decrease the Transition Completion 0% so it'll make a nice block effect. Okay, now move to the first frame. Then under the Effects tab, search for VR Digital Glitch. Apply this effect to the text layer. Going back to the Effect Controls tab, under the VR Digital Glitch effect, make a keyframe on the master amplitude. Move 10 frames to the right, and make it zero. And that's it. For the out animation, you can do the same thing. I like to do it, around 3 seconds. Then make keyframes on master amplitude, and transition completion. Again move 10 frames to the right side. Change the transition completion to 100%. Also set the master amplitude 100. And that's it for the out animation. Then add a nice glitch sound effect, under the animation, so it'll look more eye catchy. You can download my ultimate sound effects pack from the description link. Now let's see how to do the typewriter effect. Already I've imported a background image and the writing sound effects. So first move the time indicator to the first frame. Then select the type tool and type your text line in the program window. Then open the Essential Graphics tab to edit this title. Under the Essential Graphics tab, click on Edit. Then mark all the text lines. And here I am using the Special Elite font. Also, I am increasing the font size around 200. Then using the Align tool to make it center. Now move over to the Effects Control tab. Then click on the text drop-down icon. And make a keyframe on the source text. Now mark and remove all the text lines. Then move the time indicator at the beginning of the first writing sound. And type your first letter. Again move the time indicator to the second sound effects. And type your second letter. And keep doing this until your writing is finished. And that's all, now let's see the final preview. Now let's see, how to do the strobe effect. And it's pretty easy to do, but very effective. And you can do it with any video editor. So first you need high bass music, or sound effect. Then import it to the timeline. I'm using this one. Okay, let's get started. Move your time indicator to the first frame. Then select the type tool. 
and type your text to the program window. And open the Essential Graphics tab to customize this text. Under the Essential Graphics tab, click on Edit. Then mark all the text. And here I am using the ExoBold font and the text tracing 500. Now make it center by using this align tool. And then close the Essential Graphics tab. Now move over to the Effect Controls tab and make sure the text layer is selected. Then make a keyframe on the scale and move the time indicator a few frames forward and increase the scale size around 110. Then move this keyframe to the last frame. And now we need to find the base where it's beating. Then simply cut the text layer, beating start to the end point. And do it continue. I just speeded up this part, so you don't have to wait. And for the last beat, I cut my clip as well. Then I just delete the last part of this clip. And now for the text layer, keep the beating parts and delete the other cuts. And that's it, let's see how it looks. Now let's see, how to do the blurry effect. So first select the type tool, and type your text line to the program window. Then move over to the effects tab, and search for VR spherical blur. Then add this effect beginning of the text layer. Also you can add it for out animation. As you can see, it looks something spin blur. To make it spin to straight, select this effect. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. And change the point of interest Y value until it looks a straight blur. And that's it. Do the same thing for the out animation. Now add a nice swoosh sound effect under the animation. So our last animation is Epic Masking. Let's see how to do it. First make a new sequence. Then open the Essential Graphics tab. Under the Essential Graphics tab, click on Edit. Then click on the new layer icon and select Text. Then type your text. I like to use Epic. And here I'm using the Gilory Heavy font. And the text size 1300. Then center it by using this Align tool. Again click on the new layer icon, and select from file. Now select your footage, and click open. So this footage will be imported, in the Essential Graphics tab. Now select this footage, and drag it under the text. Then select the text layer. And bottom of the Essential Graphics tab. You'll see the mask with text. Now just enable it. And our masking is done. Now we need to animate the text scale. Increase the layer duration around 20 seconds, so your footage must be 20 seconds long. Then going back to the first frame, and select the text layer from the Essential Graphics tab. Now select the Move tool, and set the anchor point for the text zoom in effect. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. Click on the text drop-down icon. Scroll down a little bit, and make a keyframe on the scale. Increase the scale size, until the full text completely disappears. Now move the time indicator around 20 seconds. And set the scale size 100. Make the last keyframe easy in. And that's all. Let's see the final preview. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions please feel free to ask me on my Instagram. I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.